right now, researchers around the world are on are working on more than 165 different coronavirus vaccines. 31 of those are currently being tested in humans. While we've heard a lot about a handful of those vaccines, tonight our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look at two less publicized efforts. Doc? Yeah, Kim, several experts have said the first coronavirus vaccines available may not ultimately be the most effective. There are, in fact, a wide variety of approaches being tried, and even the U.S. military is working toward accomplishing this critical mission. Scientists at the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research have played a major role in vaccine development before. Our institution has been at the forefront of addressing emerging outbreaks for over 100 years. It's contributed to about half of the vaccines approved today in the U.S. for viruses like rubella and influenza. The latest efforts are targeted at SARS-CoV-2. Their approach uses a protein called ferritin to expose the immune system to the coronavirus's spike. By taking this protein away from the virus and just putting it onto a, onto a stable protein, we can actually generate an immune response without any of the illness associated. Their goal is to start human trials by the end of summer or this fall. Now, another vaccine moving forward is that made by the Maryland-based biotech company Novavax. It also contains proteins from the coronavirus spike. Novavax is set to begin the second phase of human testing in 2,600 healthy adults in South Africa, as well as 240 adults with HIV. Advocacy groups have pushed for people with HIV to be included in clinical trials since their immune system may respond differently. Novavax also plans to launch trials in the U.S. and Australia in the near future. Now, the Walter Reed vaccine candidate is considered a second-tier vaccine, meaning it would probably be ready after some of the frontrunners already produced millions of doses. Now, if the Novavax vaccine proves successful, the company says it could deliver 100 million doses for the U.S. to use in the first months of 2021. Interesting. Well, Doc, what are the, ch the odds that we get a lot of vaccines proving effective against the coronavirus? Well, you know, Kim, that is certainly possible, and that's actually the hope, since no single company could produce enough doses to meet the global demand. Yeah. It could also be that certain vaccines might end up working better in certain groups, like older people or children. All of that, of course, just remains to be seen. It does. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Doc.